Fanzine.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time, it's a double bill. It's the most recent releases of Cloudwater's double IPA. We've got version 6 and version 7. The big difference between these two beers is the yeast they're using it. Um, the version 6 is uh, uses WLP4000, um, which is uh, kind of like a Vermont style kind of ale yeast. And the um, version 7 is JW Lee's um, kind of 6000 and whatever kind of generation yeast. The uh, recipe is exactly the same on the, each of the beers, so it's 9% EBV. Um, Bearing hops are Pilgrim Alpha Acid CO2 Extract, Aroma Hops, Citra Vic Secrets, um, Chinook and the Malts are Golden Promise Dextrose and, yeah, Dextrose uh, Monohydrate. Okay, there you go. So I'm going to pour both of them. I have had them both, um, you might have seen it already. Um, uh, with Adam and Stuart, uh, our most recent bottle share, but I wanted to do a little kind of side by side for you as well. Ahead of my periscope, I'm going to be doing later on in the evening that I film this. So that's version 6 into the glass, and on to version 7. I mean, I'm a big fan of what Cloudwater are doing here. They're the, the, the experimenting out in the open and they're taking, taking us on, on the ride with you, with them. Um, so I'm fully in favour. I know there's some other people who might be a bit critical of what they're doing. People think they're profiteering. I don't think they are. These beers are expensive beers to make and they don't charge a packet for it as well. So no criticism from me at all. I'm um, fully in favour. I mean, these guys moving, they're kind of like forcing this kind of IPA um, scene forward and the progression of British IPA. Um, so, let's do it side by side, let's do it side by side. Oop, trying to find the best way to grab it, there we go. So, version 6, very hazy, pale, golden uh, yellow beer. Um, that, I mean, I think version 7 is a little bit paler, not quite as hazy. More head on 6 than 7 as well. Interesting, might be my pole more than anything, but as far as the aroma goes, that's lovely. That's absolutely beautiful. Loads of kind of sherbety citrus, loads of lemon, lime, grapefruit without a doubt, unripened pineapple, some, um, there's a bit of heather honey kind of thing going on, a bit of kind of, maybe a bit of clear honey actually. Something a bit herbaceous, maybe. Maybe a hint of coriander seed, bay leaf, stuff like that. It's kind of savoury yet, kind of citrus. Smells great. And version 7, a lot more reserved. Completely different, absolutely, completely different. It's got a bit of kind of banana skin about it. Loads of lemon, quite a sticky lemon curd thing going on this time. Yeah, there's something else in there, something slightly menthol. Yeah, it's a completely different beer. It's got more kind of, it's got a real twang to it, a real tangy twang to it. Mm. Anyway, let's dive in with number six. Cheers. Mm. Good amount of body. Grapefruit, pineapple. Loads of lemon juice, sweetened lemon. Continue where what the aroma pr promise really. Bit of that, bit of that coriander seed. Bit of mandarin. Grapefruit juice, floral, hint of honey. Lovely stuff. My kind of IPA. So that's version six. Version seven. Oh, completely different, really massively different. I don't remember these two beers being as, as different as they are. A real tangy twang to this beer. Um, hmm. Getting my head around it a bit more now. Once again, I'm getting this kind of like, kind of, but I'm, I'm around a lot of baby food at the moment, but it reminds me of, but there's packets of banana flavored baby food. With a tang, slightly metallic note. 
like a, like a dried lime. Kind of reminds me of the, um, the hot from Vicer in, in an odd way. Creaminess. Lemon. Then herbaceous and menthol. Uber dry. Really dry. I can feel it on my teeth. Drying my teeth out. It's really odd. So they use this yeast as part of um, their um, collab with Magic Rock um, for yeast company, which was absolutely stunning. Really, really good beer. And I can pick out certain flavours in this beer that was in that. <coughs> but this has got a real... I think the yeast is really kind of like present in this. And it's bringing a tang to it. A kind of a tang that you get um, from quite a, quite a iony forward kind of British brown bitter. And it is a JW Lee's strain, and you could pick out a lot of those the characteristics again in this bit in quite a typical Lee's cask ale. Mm. And this time, oddly, I don't think it suits it at all. I mean, and this is second my second serving of these beers, and six stands head and shoulders above seven. Seven is just not for me. I think I don't think it suits it. It's not as approachable. It's not as enjoyable for me personally. So. Nice little experiment once again. I hope it goes down the route. I hope everybody's loving six as much as I have. It's a shame we to go down seven. I mean, but it is nice. I mean, it's hypercritical. This is these are the, the pinnacle of IPA in the UK at the moment. So we just got to be a bit more kind of judgmental in that sense, haven't we? So that's cloud water, double IPA version six and seven. I'm not doing dipper. It's double IPA, double IPA version six and seven from Cloudwater in Manchester. Lovely, lovely stuff. Six all the way for me. I'm Rob from Hobzine.com. See you next time. Cheers.